Hi friends, in this video, some special questions on lab connected DC generators. Let's see here. A four pole lab connected DC generator. Nothing but how many poles are there? Four. This is lab connected, that's why how many number of parallel parts? Four. How many number of brushes? Four. We know that. So let's take here. This is the first brush. And for example, this is the second brush. For example, this is the third brush because the machine is in circular manner. And uh, this is the first parallel path. And this is the second parallel path. This is the third parallel path and this is the fourth parallel path. I said you already, first parallel path covers first and second pole and brush. Second parallel path covers second and third. Third parallel path covers third and fourth. Fourth parallel path covers fourth and first. For example, this is positive brush. Then this is negative brush. This is positive brush. This is negative. I said you already. Always the adjacent brushes are opposite polarity. And next one, when this is positive, the current is absorbed by the positive brush. That is given by the negative brush. When this is positive, current is absorbing, this is giving. This is absorbing, this is giving. And two positive brushes are combinedly gives us positive terminal and two negative brushes are combinedly gives us negative terminal completely which is called DC supply or DC output like this right next one let's see here generally the process is like this actually we have a four parallel paths. These four parallel paths are combined and one is given that positive terminal and another one is given that negative terminal. So actually here the current is IA. Actually here the current is IA. Yes or no? The total current is IA. When this is a, this is IA sorry, when this is IA for positive terminal, this is IA by 2 and this is also IA by 2. The IA by 2 plus IA by 2 gives us IA. When this is IA by 2, here the current flowing is IA by 4 and here the current flowing is IA by 4. When this is IA by 2, here the current is IA by 4 and here the current is IA by 4. Like this it will go. Is it okay? Right? So here each parallel path carries only IA by 4 current. When 4 parallel paths IA by 4 is equals to IA. This is very clear structure of 4 pole DC generator. Very clear. The diagram is very neat. Yeah. Right, now questions. Questions are not this much of fancy. Okay, let's see how they are questions. The first question. In four pole DC generator, lab connected DC generator, if brush one damaged or disconnected, then what happened to the power? In generally, at this condition, the power generated is equals to the generated EMF and armature current. Armature current IA generated EMF EG, then the total the power generated. But in this condition, when brush 1 is damaged, my brush 1 is damaged. Here, my brush 1 is damaged. Like this. My brush 1 damaged, then what happens are, when brush 1 damaged here, Actually, the 
parallel path 1 and parallel path 4. What is that? Parallel path 1 and 4 disconnected. Yes or no? When this is damaged, the parallel path 1 and 4 disconnected. If these two are disconnected, this armature current is zero, then what is my armature current in this case? Can you tell me what is my armature current in this case? Only Ia by 2. What is EMF in this case? EG, there is no change in EG because if one parallel path is there, enough. So, what is power in this case? The power is equals to EG IA by 2, nothing but PG by 2, nothing but only 50% of power will develop. Remaining 50% of power is wastage. In 4-pole machine, if one brush damage, 50% of power is wasted out. Right, sir. Now, my second question. What is second question? If brush 1 and brush 2 are two adjacent brushes damaged, then what happened? Here, two adjacent brushes damaged. Already brush 1 is damaged. Now, for example, brush 2 also damaged. For example, brush 2 also damaged. Then what happened? If brush 1 and brush 2 damage, then what happened? Parallel paths 1, 4 and 2 also disconnected. 1, 4 and 2 also disconnected. 1, 4, 2. These three parallel paths are disconnected. When these three parallel paths disconnected, can you tell me what is the armature current? When three, any one, four, and two disconnected. When these three disconnected, what is armature current here? The current is only Ia by four. Of course, the EMF is easy because there is no change in EMF. Even one parallel path is enough. So, what is the power combinedly? Eg. Ia by 4, nothing but Eg Ia by 4, nothing but Pg by 4, nothing but only 25% of power will develop. Remaining 75% of power is waste out. This is very clear to analyze. Yes. Now, the third case. If brush 1, brush 2, brush 3, are uh, three adjacent brushes damaged? Then what happened? When brush three also damaged, when brush three also damaged, then what happens? Are see, this is connected to fourth one. The all one, two, three, four, all are disconnected. There is no connection for this brush. So all are disconnected. One, two, three. 4. All are disconnected. If all are disconnected, what is my current? 0. What is my power developed by the machine? 0. In 4-pole machine, for example, in n-pole machine, if n-1 poles are damaged, then power developed by the machine is 0. 4-pole machine, 3 brushes. 6-pole machine, 5 brushes, like that. n-1 brushes are damaged then the power developed by the machine is zero. It is clear. Next one. One, two, three completed. Next, the fourth case, the special case. If two opposite brushes are damaged, then what happens? So what is that here? Two opposite brushes. So for example, this is normal case. Brush one damage and brush three damage. If brush 1 damage, first and fourth completely eliminated. If brush 3 damage, second and third also eliminated. In 4-pole machine, if two opposite brushes are damaged, then current is zero and the power developed is also zero. This is the concept for 4-pole machine. Very clear. Now, 
you have to analyze the same thing for six pole machine. Now, what is your work? So, this is simply a six pole machine. For six pole machine, number of poles six, number of parallel paths six, and number of brushes six. If brush one damage, if two adjacent brushes, three adjacent brushes, four adjacent brushes, and five adjacent brushes. Only that, only five cases. There is no special case. It is not possible for any other machines. Only for four pole machine, this case is possible. So for six pole machine, you have to. Sir, what about wave winding? There is no question for wave winding. I already given a statement. In wave winding, if any one brush damage, the power developed is zero because in that we have only two brushes, right? In out of two brushes, one negative damage or positive damage, the power developed is zero. Okay, now let's go for six pole machine, right? So let's draw the diagram for this. Very simple. This is brush one, and this is brush two. And this is brush 3. For example, this is brush 4, brush 5, brush 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Parallel paths. This is brush 1. Sorry, parallel path 1. Parallel path 2. Parallel path 3. 4, 5, and 6th parallel path, right? Of course, if this is plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, all the pluses are connected to positive terminal, all the negatives are connected to negative terminal. Now, for example, in first case, if brush 1 damaged, tell me, can you tell me what is the current in each parallel path? Each parallel path current is, current in each parallel path is Ia by 6. You know that. When brush 1 damaged, when this is damaged, then first and sixth eliminated. We have only four parallel paths. Each parallel path current is Ia by 6. So the current is 2 by 3 times of Ia and the voltage is Eg and the power is Eg Ia of 2 by 3. So finally, 2 by 3 times of the total power. This is the brush 1 damaged. So for example, brush 1 and brush 2 damaged brush 2 also damaged. Then what happened? What happens are 1, 2, 4 damaged parallel paths 1, 2 and 4 damaged. Nothing but 3 damaged. Remaining we have only 3 each of Ia by 6. So the current is only Ia by 2. Of course the EMF is only easy. There is no change. Then what is next? The power Eg of Ia by 2 is nothing but Pg by 2. Nothing but here 66.66 percentage but here 50 percentage. This is the second one. And next what is third one? Can you? Third one? Brush one. Brush 2 and brush 3 damaged. These three types are damaged. Then tell me what happens, sir. Brush 3 also damaged. Then 1, 2, 3 and 6. 1, 2, 3 and 6 damaged. These all damaged. This is not 4th, sir. Very good, very good. This is 6th damaged. This is also not fourth, sir, sixth damage. Right, sir. So tell me, here four parallel paths open circuited. Remaining how many are there in active? Only two. So the current is 
two parallel paths, each of IA by 6, nothing but only IA by 3. Of course, the EMF is easy. And what is the power? P is equals to easy IA by 3, nothing but PZ by 3. Only 33.33% of power will develop. This is third case. And next, what is fourth case? Here, brush 1, brush 2, brush 3, and brush 4 damaged. If brush 4 also damaged. Then what is that? First one, second one, third one, fourth one, and sixth one also damaged. Five parallel paths open circuit. Then what is the current? We have only one parallel path, that is IA by 6, and the EMF is easy, of course, but the power is EG IA by 6, nothing but PG by 6, nothing but, what is nothing but? We have only, yeah, very good, 1 by 6, nothing but, 6 uh, completed, we have only 4. So, 1.6666 percentage of power only. This is simply very simple like this. Like that, we have to consider sorry, 16.66 percentage of power. So, the fifth case brush 1, brush 2, brush 3, brush 4, and brush 5 also damaged. Brush 5 also removed or damaged. Then, then no parallel path in active. No parallel path, nothing but current 0. If current 0, the power developed is 0. This is for 6 pole machine, the analysis. Right? So, this is the question on EMF equation for different, different manners. So, you should uh, analyze all this. They may ask you a question on 4 pole and 6 pole only. So, remember this. Right? And next one. Next one, here we have the generated EMF EG is equals to formula 5Z on of 60 and P by A. This is actually our EMF equation. Of course, number of parallel paths constant, parallel paths and poles constant, number of conductors constant, 60 is already constant. So always the generated EMF depends on flux and speed only. They may ask you questions on this. If a flux doubled and speed halved, flux doubled and speed halved, the two, two gets cancelled, same EMF. So to get the negative EMF, what we have to do? To get the negative EMF, either change the flux direction, either change the flux direction or either flux direction or speed direction changing. By changing either flux direction or speed direction, we can get negative generated EMF. Sir, for example, flux direction change minus 5N, so it will give us negative EMF. Sir, speed direction change, for example, 5 of minus N, so due to negative, negative will come. Plus into minus, minus. Minus into plus, minus. Sir, for example, both change minus flux, minus speed. Minus of minus plus, the same EMF will come either by changing the flux direction or by changing the or by changing the speed direction, rotor direction, we can get the negative polarity EMF. And we have a special cases on that. I will explain you after some time. So, like this, they may ask you different way of questioning in our EMF equation. Are you clear? Yes or no? Right? Thank you.